Hi there. This video is another follow up to the earlier example of array lists where we created an array list and added objects to it and displayed details of those objects. Then in a later video we looked at searching the array list for a particular object. And finally now we will look at removing an object from an array list. And in fact this is probably a little more straightforward when working with array lists than it would be when you work with an array of objects. So we'll jump straight into the example. Looking at our assessment application that we've seen in many videos now at this stage. Um, we have an assessment application which has an assessment object with all of your getters and setters and it has a GUI that allows the user to enter assessment name, assessment type and assessment weighting. We've already done the coding for the add assessment, display assessment and search by type buttons and in this one we're going to take a look at deleting an assessment. So if you double click the delete assessment button it automatically generates a delete assessment method for you. When deleting things from any particular application or any array list or array of objects, you have to be careful what you're going to allow the user to delete and what kind of criteria you're going to use around it because you don't want to be deleting the wrong information. So in this particular video or in this particular example, we're going to ask the user to enter all three pieces of information in order to delete an assessment because a number of assessments might have the same type or the same weighting and we need to make sure that we're not deleting the wrong thing. So they need to enter name, type and weighting. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add an if statement to say that the user must enter the name, type and weighting. So if name tf.getText dot equals an empty string or type tf dot get text dot equals an empty string or waiting tf dot get text dot equals an empty string. Okay, so if name, type or waiting text fields have empty strings in them, then we're going to give the user an error message to say Sometimes NetBeans tries to be helpful and changes the names of your methods, so watch out for that. So we're going to give an error message that says, you must enter name, type, and waiting to delete. Okay, so assuming that they get that right and they have entered all of those, we then want to check um, is the array list in fact empty? If it's empty, obviously there's nothing to delete. So if our count equals zero, so I increase my counter every time I add something. So if my counter is zero, that means it's empty. Similarly, you could just, because we're working with an array list, it's a little bit more efficient than um, your arrays of objects and you could just use the dot size method. So if the size of the array list is zero. Again, another error message. And in this instance, we want to say, sorry, there are, let's put our quotation marks around the string. Bear with me. Sorry, there are no items to delete at this time. Okay. And then finally, if they have entered details in all three text fields and there is in fact something in the array list, then and only then will we start to even consider deleting something from the array list. And in order to delete it, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab all that text from the text fields. So name equals name tf dot get text. And again, just watch out on these things. Sometimes um, NetBeans will recommend methods and you'll accidentally hit the wrong button and get the wrong method. So just double check everything as you go along. Dot get text and waiting equals waiting tf dot get text. See, 
get alignment that's not what i typed okay and in fact weighting is um a double so we're going to have to parse that to become a double and now we've got all three pieces of data stored in our variables so that's fine next thing to do is to loop through the in the array list okay into i equals zero i less than a list dot size i plus plus okay inside your loop then you're simply going to check if you take the name out of the object and the object out of the array list is that name equal to the name that the user has entered and then you're going to do the same for type and weighting and if all three pieces of information match then we're going to remove the item from the array list so if a list dot get i dot get name dot equals name see and now it has given me this extra method so just watch out you'll have to double check these things afterwards so if a list dot get i which grabs the object dot get name dot equals name and a list dot get i dot get type and not class type dot equals type okay so a list dot get i dot get type dot equals type and a list dot get i dot get waiting equals equals waiting okay again waiting didn't need a dot equals because it is in fact um, a double so we don't need dot equals we only use dot equals when we're dealing with strings so if all of those criteria are true then we're going to remove from the array list now you'll remember when we were working with arrays of objects in previous videos um, in order to delete something from the array of objects we took the last item and we overwrote the item we wanted to delete with that and then we decreased our counter it's a little less cumbersome here we have a nice little method a list dot remove i so we just use the remove method and we pass it the variable the value of i which tells it what index it needs to remove the item from and then if you are using your counter for anything you'll want to just subtract one from your counter again i don't know if the counter is entirely necessary here with the array list it depends on what you're trying to do so then we're going to give another message just to tell the user that that item has in fact been deleted deleted item at index i okay we'll just tell them that that particular item has been deleted and then once you've found the item and you've deleted it you really don't need to keep searching assuming we only want to delete one so we're going to break out of the loop and then finally finally we want to give them a message if we can't find the item in the array list so if what they're searching for to delete doesn't exist so we'll have a if i actually if your counter in your loop actually reaches count minus one okay which is how many items we have minus one or a list dot size minus one we'll do one final um message sorry that item could not be found okay and that is all that we need to do in that method it's a little bit longer than our previous search or display methods but let's play it and see that it works assessment name exam assessment type formative assessment weighting zero no 0.5 add that assessment then we'll do a project it is also formative add that assessment and finally we'll do a quiz which is summative 
and worth zero and we'll add that let's just double check they all went in exam project quiz okay and let's try now to delete the exam formative 0.5 and I think perhaps it might need an uppercase E delete assessment you must enter name type and waiting to delete Okay, so I'm getting an error. I would imagine what's happened here is one of my get texts is not doing what it's supposed to do. See, this ends with, there's NetBeans again, um, changing my methods on me. So if name tf dot get text dot equals name tf type tf dot get text dot equals waiting tf dot get text dot equals. Right, one last time. Let's try it again. So assessment name, exam, assessment type, formative, assessment, waiting, zero, add assessment. Let's make another exam or let's make a project, which is also formative and zero. And then we'll do a quiz, which is summative. Okay, and add that. Display them all, one, two, three. Okay, and then finally, let's delete the exam, which was formative, delete assessment, deleted item at index zero. And there you have it. Um, similarly, if we entered exam summative, we should get a message. Sorry, that item could not be found. Also, if we were to leave something blank, we'll get you must enter a name type and waiting to delete. So that is deleting. Um, again, you can see it is much more straightforward than with an array of objects, but you do need to bear in mind the criteria required in order to delete something from your array list. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.